Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about another transport coefficient which is nothing but mobility. In our previous class we have already discussed about electrical conductivity which is nothing but the measure of amount of electric current a material can carry or in simple words we can say it is the ability of a material to carry a current and in case of semiconductor we know both electrons as well as holes are acting as carriers and for strictly n-type semiconductor we have derived the electrical conductivity expression as sigma e is equals to n square tau e by m e star and for p-type semiconductor the electrical conductivity will be in the similar way where sigma h will be equal to p e square tau h by m h star. Today let us see what actually is mobility and let's derive electrical conductivity in terms of mobility. So let's start. First we need to know about mobility. In semiconductor physics we use this term that is mobility as a transport coefficient similar to that of electrical conductivity. So electrical mobility is the ability of a charged particle to move throughout a medium. So mobility means it is something like a mobile. Mobile means freely moving or it is with respect to movement of a particle. And with respect to electron or electron mobility is a quantity where we can understand how quickly an electron can move through a metal or a semiconductor and we are concentrating on the movement of a carriers in case of semiconductors. Previously we have derived the drift velocity equation that is electron drift velocity in field capital E will be Ve is equals to minus E tau E divided by M E star into capital E. Here negative charge is because of electron. So electron mobility can be defined as the velocity per unit field strength. So this is a definition where you can apply mathematics. So it is the ratio of velocity to the field strength. So mu e which is the electron mobility can be written as Ve by capital E where capital E is the field strength. And already we have the value of Ve that is electron drift velocity. When you substitute capital E will get cancelled with the capital E present in electron drift velocity equation and we get the equation for electron mobility which is nothing but mu E is equals to E tau E divided by M E star. So here we can understand the mobility is a measure of the rapidity or swiftness of the motion of electron in the field. So it is related to velocity means about movement. So it is going to measure the amount of swiftness of motion of electron that is nothing but mobility. And here we can observe that mu E is going to depend on the lifetime of electron that is tau E and also the effective mass of electron m e star. Lifetime of electron and mobility are directly proportional whereas mass is inversely proportional. So if we need or if we have the lifetime of electron as a larger quantity that is longer the lifetime of electron and smaller the mass higher will be the mobility. If mobility has to be greater means numerator should be greater and denominator should be less. That's why longer lifetime that is longer tau e and smaller mass m e star will give you a greater mobility. So movement will be faster. And we also have the conductivity equation as sigma e is equals to 
n e square tau e divided by m e star and already we saw that mu e is nothing but e tau e divided by m e star so we can substitute or use the value of mobility equation in this equation and when you do so we get electrical conductivity is equals to n e mu e because mu e is equals to e tau e by m e star so just we have substituted that and this is the equation where we get electrical conductivity in terms of mobility so if we know what is the carrier concentration and mobility of the charge carrier easily we can find out what is the conductivity of it so if we put carrier concentration as 10 raised to 21 per meter cube which is the standard value for semiconductor and when you use that sigma e comes around 1 per ohm per meter which we have derived already so if you put those value in the above equation we find that mu e which is electron mobility comes up to approximately equal to 10 raised to minus 2 meter square per volt second so this is a typical value and in the same way as we know semiconductors are the type of materials where both electrons as well as holes are acting as a charge carriers conductivity corresponding to holes that will be sigma h will be equal to p e square tau h by m h star where p is again the carrier concentration or that of holes that is when you consider for p type e is the charge tau h is the lifetime of holes and m h star is the effective mass of hole and when you substitute the value of mu h is equals to e tau h by m h star we get sigma h which is the conductivity for holes is equals to p e mu h that is conductivity in terms of mobility so these two equations are the most important equations in order to understand electrical conductivity which is one type of transport coefficient in terms of mu e and mu h which is another type of transport coefficient so if you consider a semiconductor let us say we are applying electric field along x axis that is positive x axis when the field is applied the holes stream in the same direction as the field because they are positively charged whereas electrons will be streaming opposite to the field direction that is because electrons are negatively charged so this one thing we need to remember because both electrons as well as holes are the charge carriers in case of semiconductors so this is a rough diagram so next we need to find out what is the total conductivity conductivity is due to two types of carriers that is electron and hole that's why when we sum these two conductivities we get the total conductivity therefore sigma is equals to sigma e plus sigma h substituting the value we get sigma is equals to n e mu e plus n e p e mu h it's p so this is the equation for total conductivity just correct it it is p e mu h if you consider an intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic semiconductors are the pure type of semiconductors where the number of electrons will be equal to the number of holes that is n is equals to p we can consider as equal to the intrinsic carrier concentration so if you substitute back in the above equation we get sigma is equals to n e into mu e plus mu h where n is nothing but n i which is the intrinsic carrier concentration so conclusion we can draw here is the carrier with the greater mobility contribute larger share 
because conductivity is depending on the mobility and the carrier which is having greater mobility is going to contribute a greater share because both are directly proportional and mu is inversely proportional to mass and we know that mass of electron is lesser when compared to holes because of inverse relation we say mobility of electron is more when compared to mobility of holes that's why we can say that for the total conductivity main contribution is coming from electron because of the greater mobility of electrons so this is about mobility the expression for mobility and electrical conductivity in case of semiconductors in terms of mobility thank you